The Rob, what's up, brother? Yo, Pat. How, you How doing? are you? Good, man. What about you? Not too bad. Looks like a beautiful day there. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's nice. So uh, we're joined in here um, with uh, Sessions with the Sarge, and we are lucky enough to be joined all the way from Switzerland by LDM. How are you doing, my man? Man, I'm doing good. It's, it's summer already here, so yeah, it was a quick end of the winter, but it feels good now. So Nice. Yeah, I know. It was kind of a quick one for everybody. Could you do your phone um, horizontal? Yeah. That'd be awesome. That'd be, that'd be perfect. So I want to kick it off by, um, I kind of wanted to talk about, uh, you know, from Switzerland with love, like what, yeah. is, what's the idea with that and kind of what, what was your motivation behind creating that project? Yeah. I mean, uh, level one was over. So I, I mean, it was a good time to think about something more personal maybe. And, uh, yeah, I didn't really uh, ski that much. I mean, I ski. I, I learned to ski in my area for sure, but like to to shoot stuff in backcountry, I didn't have the time to do that as as much as I wanted to do. So, so yeah, I I, I wanted to stay at home and just do like uh, what I did when I was traveling with uh, one, but just at home with, uh, with local riders and invite uh, international riders as well to to yeah to show them where I live and. Oh, how sick it is. <laughs> yeah, awesome. So what is your process basically for picking the riders that you invite? Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, people that were free and good friends as well, for sure. People like uh, with good vibes uh, that I spent like time with them already. And I know it's going to be it was going to be a good time with them. And yeah, and people that were down to come as, as, as well, like. Not, not really more than that. <laughs> That's sick. I, I know you're like a really all terrain, you know, from streets to backcountry. Like you're very versatile with your skiing, you know. So how do you pick whether or not you're going to, you know, you're going to do a street day or whether or not you're going to do, um, you know, more of a backcountry mission? Is it all based <laughs> on the snow conditions? Yeah, it's it's always been hard to like, uh, change fast from street to backcountry, you know. But th this season, we like uh, the, the international rider were coming, you know. So we like we know that for two weeks or three weeks we're gonna do like street, and then and then for two, three or four, four weeks do backcountry. But personally, when I'm alone, I'm more like ba for backcountry for sure. Yeah. But but that's personal, you know. And uh, but I like to do everything, so that's cool. And and how was the winter overall in Switzerland this year? Sorry, I'm just going to try to make it like this. There you go. Sorry. No, that's perfect. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's going to go much. like this. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so this winter in Switzerland, was it a pretty was it a pretty good one or was did it have a slow start or No, it was a it was a hard one for sure. Uh um like january was so dry and pretty warm but we, we had a bit of snow on the ground so we did all the street stuff in january but it wasn't at the, at the end it wasn't really street stuff it was just like you know human construction in the mountains yeah so it was like all really high up in the valleys so um so yeah and then we were just waiting for the pow to come and honestly we had maybe two to three weeks of powder during the winter yeah. and then it was gone so yeah, not maybe not the best season to stay home, but we made it happen. We had the sick crew, we we had the motivation, so we shaped so many jump for nothing, just waiting for the pal, but that's that's how it is. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works, you know. It's all about you put in the work for the days that you do get it and when it when it happens you, you capitalize. So Exactly, yeah. But we're waiting a, a lot of days to for the pal to, to capitalize those those jumps, but yeah. That's how it is sometimes, but with the motivation, I think we, we had some good shots. So, so, we so a, lot of, a lot of the times with these conversations, too, I like to touch on, um, like, how the quarantine has been for you, you know, like how how Switzerland has dealt with it and what the process has been like yeah. and, and where you're at with it right now. Like, are you able, you know, some of my conversations lately 
things are starting to open up and people are able to get out and do some little things here and there. So I want to hear yeah. what it was like for you. I mean, Switzerland was pretty chill. Uh, they, they trusted the people a lot. So we didn't really have to stay home, you know, mm -hmm. just no, no risk, you know, no sports with risk. So uh, obviously we decided to stop shooting, but you could just go out and walk, you know, in the, in the mountains or even tour a bit. But um, yeah, they asked to not take any risk and the people follow, follow the, the rules, I think, pretty well. But um, yeah, they, trust, they trusted the people, which is good. I know other country around us was like way, way, way more strict, you know? Totally. So yeah. And now, it, now it's getting way more chill, like every two weeks. So um, it's almost, almost a normal situation, you know, just the distancing and this stuff. But uh, the resorts are going to reopen like for, for summer stuff, you know, for biking and stuff. So it's getting, it's getting better for sure. Awesome. And are you, so with Switzerland with love, are you launching that all at one time in the fall or yeah. will it be ep episodes or how is it going to work? No. Uh, so we're going to do a, a small movie, I think 25 to 30 minutes at the most and just do like uh, like a normal movie, you know, in the fall, just all the, the festivals, premieres, and then, and then December it's going to be free on the, on the internet. Oh, okay. Sick. Yeah. Okay, well, I have a, I have a couple of things like little questions that I got from other like pro skiers. Yeah, and I and one one little story that I wanted to bring up to you to get to get your opinion on it was uh, Parker White told me the um, the shovel blade on the window technique story. <laughs> so, so and he and he felt really bad, but he said he wanted me to bring it up. So what yeah. exactly what exactly happened with that? <laughs> I mean, it was really funny. It was like, uh, yeah, it snowed like overnight, maybe 20 to 30 cm, and uh, <laughs> we're like a little bit in a rush. And and I don't know, I was just not not I'm not watching what he was doing. And yeah, he took his shovel and uh, tried to take the snow and the ice off of my car. <laughs> so. Obviously, it worked, but the, the the window was like fully. How do you say that? You know, like scratches Discreet. everywhere. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, uh, and then I was like trying to not, you know, to chill out and just, you know, don't care about it. And uh, and at the end, I mean, the my my girlfriend has a, had the little little like, car accident with the car, and the car was like kind of destroyed so at the end i was like yeah whatever a few months later so <laughs> <laughs> so i forgot all, all about that you know but but yeah so it I sounds wonder... like parker owes you a front windshield <laughs> yeah true but he <laughs> yeah. got lucky he got lucky my girlfriend kind of destroyed the car so <laughs> you have to pay for it <laughs> Okay, we just got a live question from George. He says, what is the biggest difficulties you run into when filming in the backcountry? Oh, um, I mean, this year was just like the snow condition, just to like have the good days, you know, and, and when, when it's good, you, you can have the pressure to get shots because you know you don't have that much time. I mean, I was... I was I always was like that with that one, you know, you have a trip for two weeks and you try to like get the, the most shot you can. But this year it was like, oh yes, I can, I'm gonna have the time to do more backcountry. But at the end at the end it was the same. We had like two or three weeks. Mm -hmm. But uh otherwise uh in the US I would say snowmobiling for me <laughs> it was like a pain in the ass the first first season. Yeah, uh, you just, you spend yeah. all your energy. You spend all your energy snowmobiling, and you forget that you need the energy to ski too, right? Oh man! And even the pressure, you know, like to to just like the good days, that to not not fuck up for the other people, you know, because they know to do or to snowmobile, and then you always have like the feeling you're gonna make them Hold lose time, the you know? Yeah, and uh, so that's really important to have a crew that is like chill with you and ready to help you. But um, yeah. I would say snowmobiling, snowmobiling for sure. <laughs> Growing up for you, who was uh, your biggest influences in ski? Like, who? who influences you in the mountains? I mean, 
I mean, obviously Candide, you know, for sure. And then, the, and then later, like even like Parker, uh, Adam Delorme, all the a lot of American guys from the first uh, first level one I watched, you know. Yeah. But back in the days was was Candide all the way. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, he's he's definitely influential in a lot of ways. Yeah, for sure. Sick, sick. So what what do you have kind of planned for the rest of the summer? I know a lot of the times you, I see you working with kids and skiing throughout the summer months a little bit too and riding some of the like, you know, the high terrain zones. And yeah. like, you know, I know you're into gardening too. So what's yeah. what's the balance looking like? Uh, but this summer I'm going to have like to work a lot on the movie, obviously, because like m music rights, like promotion, I do all the stuff, that stuff alone. Mm -hmm. So it's like kind of the first time for me. So it's uh, I take I take way more time than people that used to, you know. Cool. And uh, otherwise, for fun, like gardening, I, I got into climbing a lot. So I'm I'm excited to go more, and yeah. and, and skiing a bit on the on the glacier, coaching maybe. I don't know if the camps are gonna happen, you know. But uh, just skiing for fun. What is uh what do you got growing in your garden right now? I know I know uh I check it out sometimes but I've been um pretty motivated lately so I just yeah. went and watered mine right before we Me hopped too. on. <laughs> <Same. Yeah. laughs> nice. Yeah, I mean uh what what are, are the English words I know for vegetables? Uh no yeah, I'm a big fan of, of leeks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know leeks? Yep. And yeah. And I'm pretty high up this year. I just moved, so I'm I'm trying like tomatoes again and stuff. I'm not sure. I'm like, eleven hundred, you know, high meters high. So we'll totally. see. Uh, zucchinis, like a lot of different stuff. Sweet, that's awesome. Yeah, I love I love gardening and like just the patience of watching everything grow. Yeah. And, like, Every year you can learn a little something new. And when you're at the nursery or like where you get your garden, like, you know, talking to older people and gaining knowledge yeah. is fun. So <laughs> watching the neighbors when they use it, put all the plants and stuff and get the experience from the older people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Cool. And then, and so, you know, as uh, you feel like next year in, in Switzerland, it will be kind of, back to back to normal in the mountains and and people will be you know that they'll be able to socially distance and ski and and still enjoy the same things or yeah i mean i, I think so like the way it's going right now is like resort reopening reopening even like there is some resort they're trying to do like with the snow parks with the the snow left you know like higher up yeah uh, normally it's not in june you know the glacier are opening like in july end of july but uh, so they know that people want to ski again. And, and with the rules, it looks like it's going to be OK even this summer. Cool. So, so I think next winter will be will be will be kind of the same, you know, as normal. I hope so. You know, <laughs> awesome. And what what kind of um, platforms or where will we be able to find uh, Switzerland with love? Uh, I mean, uh, we didn't really decide yet where, but I think on, just on YouTube and uh, otherwise, yeah. like all the festivals, you know, uh, EF3, like I5, Inancy, and uh, and we're trying to do like a tour or something, but it's obviously it's kind of hard to imagine right now, you know, with all the events and stuff canceled, but totally. Yeah, but otherwise, just on the internet for free, uh, we'll see exactly where, but I think on YouTube, you know. Awesome. And, that's it. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to check it out. And uh, Thanks, man. I'm, a, I'm a big fan of your all-terrain destruction on the mountain. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> love watching you ski. Love your level one part this year. And uh, look forward thank to you. seeing more. And I'm hyped that you did your own project. And thank you for coming on the show. Thanks to you, man. Hope uh, we'll shred soon. I know. I, mean, <laughs> I want to. I really look forward to a day, days in the mountains this next season. So when the travel bans are and restrictions are lifted yeah. i look forward to spending that time together me too for sure epic thanks man thank you have a good day